So today, we're gonna to be taking a further look into this Windows 11 24H2 update, and more specifically, about that Windows recall. Now, the internet has blown up on a grand scale about Windows Recall because there may be some privacy issues. So we're gonna take a further look into what Windows Recall actually is, and for those who want it, how to go ahead and disable it. Let's jump on the PC and take a look. So we recently did a video on updating Windows 11 to 24H2. Now, the feedback we've got from that has been really, uh, really interesting and really informative, with people telling us all kinds of things that uh, they find quite useful in that update. But with Microsoft, they always seem to do a, a good thing and a bad thing. And in this case, the bad thing is this Windows recall or this Microsoft recall. And what Microsoft have done is provided a feature in the update that allows you to go back through time. So let's just look at exactly what this recall does first. And I'm just gonna read it directly off the Microsoft uh, website just so that it's clear. It states that uh, this feature of Windows 11 24 uh, H2 searches across time to find the content you need, then re-engage with it. With Recall, you have an explorable timeline of your PC's past. Just describe how you remember it and Recall will retrieve the moment you saw it. Any photo or any link or any message can be a fresh point to continue from. Now. I mean, that's just an extract of what they're saying. It goes on to say about snapshots and taking snapshots of your screen. And it's at that point, people start getting uh, their heckles up because if Microsoft are taking snapshots of your screen, then surely there's a huge privacy issue, right? There's a, that's a, pro, you know, we're having so, an organization now uh, prying into your, uh, onto your, uh, what you've got on your screen, analyzing it so that you can come back and go, hey, what was I doing about 10 minutes ago? And it can come back and say, well, this is what you were doing 10 minutes ago. Now, you know, that, that sounds like, you know, it's a great idea. And I think it could be useful in certain cases. However, the problem I think most people have is that they don't want that information shared with, with Microsoft. But what I wanna do in is explain to uh, viewers that you really need to put this into context, okay? We need to put, you know, calm down and let's put this into context because at the end of the day, if Microsoft were gonna do something that was so, you know, a massive breach of, of your privacy, I think they would have a lot of litigation. There'd be a lot of organizations and a lot of people going after them saying, whoa, 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 wait a second. You can't be doing that because that's a breach of my privacy. That's a breach of my, uh, of, of, of data protection. So. No, I don't think so. So I think they had. I think they've obviously thought about this and they've put this. In, uh, they've um, looked into how they can provide this uh, this tool. Um, and you know, I just think that most people just need to understand that they're not going to put themselves under such a crazy microscope. That means that they're going to get uh, hit with a lot of litigation. So for me personally, you know, uh, with my feedback, this is how I would see it. I personally wouldn't want that feature on my computer because we're an IT company and we deal with a lot of sensitive information. So I would want that feature turned off. So the question that has come to me that I'm, I have had in is how do I turn it off, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and disable that feature so that you don't have to worry about it again, okay? So if you don't wanna use that recall feature in 24H2, we're gonna jump on the PC and turn it off. Okay, so I've jumped onto our PC here that has Windows 11 24H21. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check to see if this service is even running. So we need to make sure this is even running. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna uh, open up a elevated uh, command line. So that means I'm running it as administrator. So we're just gonna fire that up and I'm just gonna type in this command. And then what this command does will uh, tell us whether or not we have this recall feature even installed on our PC. So if I go ahead and put that in and hit enter, you can see that we have recall enabled on this PC. Now, I don't want recall enabled on this PC, so the next thing we need to do is go ahead and disable it with this command. So as you can see there, we've got this one that says get feature info, which gives us the feature info on recall and this one is disable the feature. So if we go ahead and hit enter now, you can see it's gone ahead and it's disabled that feature. Now, if we run that command again, the first one, let's have a look. 
Okay, it's telling us that it's now disabled. So that feature is now disabled. So we've gone from having it uh, enabled and we've now got it disabled. So there you go. That is what uh, the Windows 11 24H2 recall feature is and also how to go ahead and disable it. Now, what do you really feel about this? So let, I wanna hear from some more people in the comments down below. What do you think? Recall, good, the bad, and the ugly. So my name's Rob from RLS Computer Services. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please go ahead and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.